Hi, my name is Lisa Ward. And if you don't know me, we need to fix that. I am running for state Senate, but that's not because I want to run it. It's because I really need to run. However, I'm not here to talk about me. You already know that you can't vote for me more than likely unless you are in my district, but you might not know if I'm elected, I can vote for you. And that's why I'm here. As a Democratic supporter of your county, I'm going around crossing county lines, hunting all the little blue dots that are spread out because somebody is telling everybody that we can't win. And because that we are a red state, I'm here to be a myth buster. And I wanna tell you that the glass isn't half empty. We still have half the glass left. So we need to keep pouring that water onto hard ground and break up the hard soil all around these amazing candidates that have been running and trying to get themselves elected. These are seeds that keep falling on hard ground. And I'm here as a tiller who recognizes that a farmer gets up at sunup every single day and works all day never knowing what his harvest is gonna bring. He has no choice because this is his livelihood. Well, for many of us, this is ours. We have no guarantee, no more guarantee of a victory at elections than he does at a crop at harvest, but we do it anyway. And after about 10 years of failed crops, a farmer has to make a choice. He changes locations or he changes crops. And since we don't have the luxury of changing fields, we are Alabama. So we need to change how we plant or who we plant in legislation. Now, I may not be the candidate that falls on soft ground and takes root, but by gosh, I'm going to help till up this hard ground for the next seed. We have an untapped market. We can't keep putting off tomorrow what we can get done today. Let me let you in on a little secret. The cavalry isn't coming. We're on our own. You and me. Democrats keep saying that we don't have a message. We do. We've had the same one for over a decade. It's we can't win. It's a red state. But that's the wrong message. There was a time when we weren't good at football. But we were number one because we were willing to pay the price to get somebody like Nick Saban to make us number one. People can be fickle. They like to be on the winning side. So they don't back a no name or a Democrat who isn't popular or can't raise a lot of money. That's not viability, folks. Instead, what we do is we spend our energy giving out free PSAs to all of our Republican opponents. That's public service announcements, by the way. We're the ones that make them famous. Do you ever notice how they never mention us in their election ads or their campaigns? Because they don't promote that they even have opposition. But Democrats are the ones who made Mo Brooks and Tommy Tuberville famous and rich. Alabama brought Trump back from the dead in Coleman a few months ago, and every Republican candidate made a killing off of that one event. We did that, Democrats. Instead of lifting up and making us powerful Democratic leaders that can win and go down there and fight, we fear bait Democrats to raise up Republicans. But I'm here to lift you up. I want to take a minute to recognize your efforts. I want to thank you for being bold, strong, and determined. Commend you for knowing on paper that maybe you can't win, but realizing that winning is still possible. We never thought that we would walk on the moon or fly in a plane or drive an automatic. We never considered getting a black man as a president. Heck, no one even dreamed that the likes of Trump would be president. So we can win. We need to think Republican, Democrat, and stick to it. We aren't a red state. Just more red voters come out and vote. We have to come together more. Stop getting mad and creating a new organization or another caucus. The more groups that we have, the more splintered and divided we become. We did not embrace our diversities. We divided them. And I'm here to show you that we are more than what's being counted. We are greater than what's being discounted. That's why I'm here. I'm crossing county lines because I want to remind us of why we're doing this. 
We must pay forward our debt to democracy. Those before us gave it to us, and we owe it to those after us to leave it in as good or better shape than what it was when we got it. This is my contribution to my generation's democracy. I'm earning my stripes and paying mine forward. So let's get local candidates elected, shall we? Let's get organized and motivated to work. Let's raise money for your year-round headquarters so that we can work like the farmers do and produce ourselves a real harvest that we can all be proud of. My name is Lisa Ward and I am running for state Senate, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here because I want you to run too.